Hello everyone, we got the new version COG Video X 5B 1.5 model released last two weeks ago, and in the GitHub repository, the custom nodes COG Video X wrapper, it just got an updated to main branch of repository to support the new model, and the node itself was rewritten in some part. As you can see, we now have support for the COG Video X 1.5 model in update 8. Previously, last week, I tested the 1.5 model using the server, which consumes a lot more VRAM than the previous 5B model. I had to run that on the server side, and it's kind of not consumer friendly, so I haven't recorded videos of what I tested on the server, but right now, it's able to run in Comfy UI. The highest peak point that I saw using the Comfy UI Edition COG Video X 1.5 model was costing about 22 gigabytes of VRAM, and on average, it's about 15 gigabytes of VRAM. That's kind of reasonable for a consumer PC to run. I tried it on Mimic PC, the cloud GPU provider that my friend built, this service I've introduced before. Mimic PC is now going crazy with lots of new apps available to play around with. Instead of just Comfy UI, there's Whisper Web UI Chat TTS, where we can use the F5 TTS model to do text-to-speech, etc. There are those AI features and also there's Omnigen and other popular AI applications you can use that are all open source. Of course, you have to pay for some balance. I added some balance to try out how the cloud service works for COG Video X. I know there are lots of people whose local PCs don't have 24 gigabytes of VRAM, so maybe this is a good option for you guys to try out. Running the COG Video X 1.5 or other high requirement AI models. Even if you have 12 gigabytes of VRAM or 8 gigabytes of VRAM, you're still able to use that AI model privately. But of course, that's going to be using online GPU rendering online and a provider like Mimic PC to do that. Currently, I'm testing this workflow, a very simple workflow in Mimic PC. Now, as you can see, I'm using the COG Video X 5B 1.5 model, and that's the text to videos model. As you can see here, I've tested the limit, which is out of memory error. Even with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, they're out of memory that I've tested some parameters how that's not going to work within that range of memory. Like for example, we have in here, I'm using the large model pros, which is NVIDIA 4090, but then this 4090 is unable to run 48 frames as I'm using pretty large dimensions for the video resolutions. Because in the 1.5 model of COG Video X, we can generate high definition or 1080p resolutions. So over 1000 pixels width and height are able to render in this model. But it again depends on your PC or your server VRAM, how much VRAM you can consume. And that's going to determine how many image frames you can produce with that amount of VRAM. So 48 image frames is out of memory in 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And this image I previously created, it's by default the text prompt text to videos. And this is two seconds, so about two seconds. It's able to create that in NVIDIA 4090. So let's bring it down backward a little bit. Let's try like 20 to 32 image frames. And that should be something we can test. So no wonder there are a lot of people testing with the COG Video X 1.5 model. And they're only showing like one or two second demos online or some comfy discord. Because in local machines, there are the limitations of VRAM. If you turn the number of frames high, it won't be able to consume that many image frames using very average. For me, I would say an average VRAM display card won't be able to create a long video. So those are the pros and cons. But of course, the quality of COG Video X 1.5 is getting better right here. As you can see, the house, everything. Even in those two seconds here, the picture is very clear, able to generate the raining and all that scenery appears in the generated result. This video looks pretty okay. I cannot say because this is not realistic styles. This is like 3D style house. And then the raining is still rendering pretty okay for a local AI model. You know, it's 5 billion parameters size cock video X. So what do you expect, right? You're not getting like 10 or 100 billion size parameters model to run this AI animation. So yeah, I would say the 1.5 model does pretty good in the quality rise. But then again, it consumes a lot of VRAM when we turn up the resolutions high. 
so maybe I would try lowering down the resolution and see how that goes. So generating two seconds, two seconds like that, that will be the max of what we can do in NVIDIA 4090. So yeah, that's what it is. And we cannot expect too much from the consumer PC level of graphics card because that's how it is. So yeah, I'll try that out again and see if that's gonna work. Again, it's out of memory. There's still something running in here. We have to relaunch this again. So let's save this workflow first. Okay, so I just restarted the cloud GPU and man, this AI industry is growing so fast. Just yesterday, we talked about Cog Video X, how to use the 5B, you know, to do orbit and also using Video Extend based on image frames. And now we have to download the new model, which is Cog Video X 5B version 1.5. So here I have the text to videos and how you download this. Very simple. Basically, you're going to choose one of the options here. Cog Video X 5B 1.5. That's the image to videos using this option. And if you have not downloaded the files, etc., you can just click run. The first time you run it, it will download automatically using these custom nodes. It will help you pull the repository from Hugging Face, download all the images, all the files, and it will be stored in your comfy UI model. And the subfolder is Cog Video. And right here, you've got the Cog Video X 5B 1.5 and you have the transformer i2v which is image to videos and then the t2v is the text to videos it will download separate two transformer models when you select different options in the download model drop down menu here so i have downloaded both already so in this result i've tested a very simple text prompt a robotic army walking on the desert and this is a text to videos demo so the robot actually walked, but it's not enough image frames to allow it to do another big motion or any movements. And I've tried out the image to videos module where, first of all, in here, as you can see, I'm using the empty latent image. And also we have the cog videos image in code where if you're using text to videos, so that means you have no image reference like this example, we'll use an empty latent image to connect to the samples connection here. And the image condition latent is going to be used for your image to videos, which is connected to your cog video image encode, which is going to bypass this one first. And then we got the samples uh, pink dot in here and connect to the image condition latent. And once you connect that, you have to disconnect the samples from the above dots here. So we won't connect the empty latent image. Instead, if you're running the image to videos, that will be connected to your image resize and the image passed to the image encode for cog video. And again, go to the image condition latent that will transform the workflow for image to videos. So let's try out this one again, the same prompts, and let's run one more time and see. We have to switch, remember, to the image to videos model, then click one more time. It will help us to use that model for image to videos and we will start running that right now. So coming back to the Mimic PC, uh, as you can see, I've just generated the text to videos result. And here we've seen it's consuming actually reserved 19 gigabyte VRAM and has allocated 18.2 gigabytes VRAM to run this whole sampling steps and go through all those operations. So yeah, you should notice that you have to reserve that much VRAM in order to run this. And Hopefully, they'll have the GGUF quantization format soon for such a large model because, you know, for long term, it won't be able to allow a lot of people to use this model. Not all people will have NVIDIA 4090 or some high-end graphics card to run such things and hopefully they can optimize this and that's something that we can do. So the text to videos and also the image to videos, I've also included in the Mimic PC template. So I'll be sharing this one. These workflow links, if you guys have low VRAM S in your local machines and want to try that out using Cog Video X 1.5, then you can try with the Mimic PC. It's already set up all the things, including the model in the model files and the custom nodes already set up without any error right now. So yeah, you can just load up these workflows and try it out by yourself. Run some prompts, change the image to video as well. So I'll share this link 
And by the way, they're doing the Black Friday promotions for having some percentage off for adding funds. My friend just told me that it's almost 50% off for topping up my credits in here. So I just used $5 back then and tested out this cloud instance. And yeah, I'll be sharing this so you guys can try that out. If you're seeing this useful for generating videos and it's not costing too much, actually it's very little. So yeah, few cents for an hour and you can play around with COG Video X 5B 1.5 model. And if you have high-end GPUs, NVIDIA 4090, and want to run your COG Video X in your own private local machines, then of course this is good news for you. You can run this like what I did here using image to videos. And this is the example. I have one of my friend's images and this robot walking just two seconds, but it looks good already. Yeah, okay, three seconds right here. And that robot's very coherent, hasn't been broken. The rifles haven't broken or twisted apart. So by the way, uh, one more thing I have to mention is that the COG Video X now has the new nodes for the save tensor files format where you can download one single model file. Like what we used to do in Stable Diffusion, we have checkpoint files and that's going to store in your Diffusions folder or in the UNet folder. And this is very clear in the new UI of ComfyUI right now. Right here, go on this sidebar, you've got the nodes library and you've got the model library that I can show here at the same screen. So in the model library, this is what used to be the model folder and you can put the COG Video X 1.5 Safe Tensors model in the Diffusions model folder. COG Video X wrapper GitHub page where you scroll down to the latest update. Here's the announcement. You can get the files in here where the links are available and click to the file versions. There's all the Safe Tensors model that convert to all folder in one single Safe Tensor file where you can download like a checkpoint model. Put that into the Diffusions model subfolder in your model folder. Then it will appear in this tree menu, the folder tree menu, and that will enable you to use the model loader. This is a new node created in the COG Video X package, and you can select other models. So for example, in here I use text to videos, and I got another generated result of a C view like this. So that is, well, the 1.5 model looks pretty nice, other than, you know, the limitations of VRAM. And I'll show the VRAM S some of the screen capture that I have when I generate those few video results where I have this one. So first of all, I want to show some generate speed. Now I'm using the NVIDIA 4090 locally, and when I'm using 24 frames number of frames, it consumes about 14 gigabytes. And when I set it to 49 and the sampling is 53, that will consume about 20 gigabytes VRAM. And when I go jump up to 49 frames, as you see, the last generate result here is almost double the generation times because it needs about, well, more than 24 gigabyte VRAM S. But it just maxed out my NVIDIA 4090 that I have 20 gigabyte VRAM available for the processing. So it just consumed all of the processing. That's why you see the execution time is 800 something seconds in here. It's not double or triple. It's almost like five times what I have in other execution times. So when we have more than 42 frames in NVIDIA 4090, that's going to consume almost max out what you have in the VRAM. And I think that is going to be the limitation for currently the local consumer PC when you're trying to use local AI. So here I have, yeah, just set the default values to 49. That's going to be the maximum of what I can run smoothly using 4090. Maybe when I have a server-side GPU, then I can set this number higher because I saw the paper research on the web. They mentioned this AI videos model 1.5 can go up to 10 seconds. So that's gonna be like 140 something frames that are able to run in this AI model for one generation video. Yeah. So that's it for this testing video. And if you have lack of VRAM in your local machines, so try that out using Mimic PC. I have already set up the COG Video X 1.5 here, and I will share this in the video description below, and you can try that out. You can just click the operate button, and it will bring you to the Comfy UI user interface, and you just add some funds for the GPU usage, and you can get started running. And also, I will be updating the last video where I talked about the COG Video X Video Extend workflow. 
I have just changed the model loader as well as adding the new COG Video X VAE files, the model files where it's running individually. And as you can see, there are some changes in the latest versions of COG Video X wrapper. You have your individual VAE inputs and the good thing of image and code. As you can see, there's a start image and end image, which means we have start frame and end frame for your AI videos generation. That's going to be like what we saw in other private paid models that, you know, start frame, end frame. So for the conclusions, COG Videox 1.55b, it require very high GPU consuming. And if you load down the resolutions, of course, you can take a little bit longer to generation, but it is not ideally for consumer PC to run. Again, open source doesn't mean it's totally free. Lots of people have this misconception nowadays. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.